All right, guys, welcome back to another Daisy tutorial. Um, this one should only be quick. I just want to show you how you can set up a mod folder for your Daisy server. Now, this is only going to be like the basic folders without any configs um, because configs depends on what you want to pack, what you want to create in your mod. Now, I have done a tutorial on how to uh, create custom textures for clothes. Um, I've in the middle of doing a video for custom textures for flags. Um, actually, well, I've done it, actually, to be fair. I just need to upload it. And i have in the middle of doing a, a, a tutorial on how to, to create a config for the more explosives mod. Um, but this video will just be how to set up the mod folder and get everything ready so when you do come to start making configs and doing edits, uh, it'll be there ready for you to get. Right, now if you go to your Steam, make sure if you've only got games selected in this little bit in your library, make sure you've got tools as well, um, just because you're going to need Daisy tools. If we just search Daisy, you can search tools. Go ahead and find Daisy tools. And for me, um, I've already got it installed. Let's just stop it. I've already got it installed, so it will say launch. If you haven't already got it installed, make sure you install it. Once you've installed it, launch it. No, I've got mine to boot straight away, or not straight away, but automatically into Daisy Tools. Normally when you launch Daisy Tools, there's a little pop-up window, and there's like three, I think, options, maybe four options of what you can open. Um, because I already used, only use Daisy Tools, um, I click Daisy Tools in the options, and then there's a check a checkbox where to open this uh, program all the time so mine opens daisy tools but for you just click on daisy tools and then make sure you launch actually daisy tools right now my daisy tools there you'll get this open at the top here click tools and you want to mine says dismount p drive but you also probably say mount p drive go ahead and mount your p drive that will take a few minutes once your p drive is mounted go ahead and extract game data um once you've extracted game data, this is generally just a one-time thing. Uh, maybe you may need to extract game data if uh, this gets all updated or, you know, Daisy gets updated so you've got the latest files. But generally speaking, you only need to extract game data once. Even once you close down your computer and re uh, turn on your computer again and reopen Steam, you don't need to extract game data if you've already done it. Right. Once you've got your P drive mounted and extracting game data can take, you know, a few minutes or so. Um, I'd probably give it about 10 minutes. It, it'll probably be done a bit quicker than that, but I'd probably give it about 10 minutes and it should be done by then. Uh, but if we go to my fi file, your file explorer, and then you will now see you should have a local disk P, which will be the P drive that you mounted. And you can change it. You can put it to whatever letter you want it to be if you already like using a P drive. Uh, you get all this folders and game data that's extracted. The only thing you won't get, and this is because it's mine, is I've got two live to survive folders. These are my project and mod pack folder. For you, you won't have these. This is what we're going to create. So this is what I'm going to show you to create. And really, all it is, it's a matter of right clicking, going to new and going to folder. And you want to do this twice. Basically, what you want to create is a mod folder. Um, mine's called mod pack folder, but you can call yours mod folder again. You can name it to whatever you want to be, just as long as you know, um, this is going to be your mod folder. And then you want to create another folder, which what I like to call is your project folder. This is a folder where you're going to have all your configs. It's going to be your project. This is going to be where you're working from, where you make all your edits. So go ahead and create two folders, name it to really whatever you want it to be. Typically, probably something to do with your server name, your community name something like that okay so two folders one will be your project folder one will be your mod folder your project folder will be empty now mine's got stuff in it because i've already made some edits for certain textures and certain things for yours yours will be empty and that's fine leave it empty um the only time it won't be empty is when like i said you're going to start making um, edits when you start adding configs and stuff but this video is not about that. It's just about the initial setup of getting a mod folder ready to go for when you do want to make some edits. So your project folder will be empty. Now your mod pack folder, this is where you're going to want to create an add-ons folder and a keys folder. Ignore the meta CPP. That generates when you upload it to the workshop. 
and ignore the extra info folder that's just for me that's just for some extra info um, for my basically use now you want to create add-ons folder this will be where all your pbos go when you pack when you make some com when you make some edits when you've done some configs in your project folder when you pack it this is going to be where all your pbo is going to go and for me when i pack things i use pbo project um, i have made a video uh, tutorial for that so i'll put a link in the description so go and watch that um to know how to install pba project by makira tools you can alternatively use um add-on builder which is in daisy tools um i'm not a big fan of it i tried it and i had issues um so yeah um i'll go into pba project a little bit more in a minute because there's just some things that in the tutorial that i did for it i didn't explain so i'll go into that in a second now Keys folder, this is going to be where you put your key, your buy key for your server, uh, for your mod into your server keys folder. Uh, again, if this is only a mod, if you're only creating this mod for your own server, you do not need to have a key in there. Now, I've just removed a key from mine. I've typically been having a key in mine. I've literally just removed it because I'm like, I don't really need a key in there. Uh, but you will need to make sure you put the key into your keys folder on your actual server so it actually loads the mod um but yeah but generally if this is just for your server don't put a key in there because if anyone else goes to the workshop and downloads this they will have the key um but it's up to you if you don't mind other servers using it it's fine go ahead and put the key in there if it's a public mod go ahead and make sure you put a key in there and again i'll show you how to get a key generate a key in a second uh, but yeah, go ahead and generate add-ons and keys and the add-ons folders will be where all your PBOs go once you've packed it uh, using either add-ons build or PBO project. Right, so your project folder will be just your project folder and nothing in it. Your mod pack folder will have an add-ons folder and a keys folder in. That's it. That is basically your folder set up ready to go. Now let's quickly talk about PBO project. So let's load this up. Now. When you do this, make sure, which I don't think I explained in the tutorial for this, in your mod folder output, this is uh, your link to your actual mod pack folder. So if you click on it, go to your P drive and find your mod pack folder and then go to select folder. And then in your source folder, this is your project folder. So click on it, go to your P drive, find your, your project folder and then click select folder. Just like so every other setting i've got here make sure yours is the same so c full build is ticked but then go into setup um and the one thing i didn't explain here is in the engine box make sure this is on daisy sa so you can click the drop down arrow and select daisy sa um everything else that's in here that i i actually explained in the tutorial so you can go and watch the tutorial for that uh, but just make sure yours pretty much looks Sorry, I got out of it. Looks exactly as it does there on screen now. Right, I'm just going to click cancel because I didn't really make any changes. I'm going to close out of that. Now we need to show you how to make a key in just in case you are, are wanting... Well, you're going to need to make a key anyway. So I was going to say just in case you want to make this public, but you will need a key uh, because you're going to need to put it on your server, whatever you do. Right, so what I like to do is on my desktop, let's minimize this. Uh, close this. Right, I've already got a folder here somewhere. I put it there. Right, I've called mine private key close mod. Because um, initially it was for just close, but now my mod pack is for a general, is a, ge it's a general mod pack mod. Um, but I'm just not bothered renaming all this. But go ahead and create a folder. It doesn't have to be on your desktop. You can put this in any like file, in any drive, wherever you basically want to put it. Just make sure you know where you put it. Right, once you've created it, uh remember you know what it's called and where it is but in ds uh not ds daisy tools you want to go to ds utils open that up and on the right side here we've got your options box it says private key click on the n symbol and then you get this little create key box put in a name so this will be the name of like your key basically um someone's called one shot but call yours whatever you want to call it and then the destination path you need to link this to wherever you have created your keys folder so mine's on my desktop so all i would do is click on this folder go to my desktop find the folder name which is this one there and click ok 
Uh, but if you've got yours in your C drive, D drive, wherever you put it, just find where it is and then click OK once you have selected it. Make sure use this authority to sign files is ticked and the open info file after creation is unticked. And then all you need to do is create, click on this create key. That will then create a key inside your folder that you've just created for it. Uh, you'll get your normal by key, your private key, and your txt file. Um, don't give anyone out your private key. That's for your use. But if you are having this as a public um, mod pack, you're going to want to create, go ahead and copy this by key folder. Go to your P drive. Go to your mod pack folder. Go to your keys folder and paste in your key there. If it's only a mod pack for your server, what you want to do is don't need to put a key in there, but you will need to copy that key, go to your server files, go to where your keys folder is and paste in the key in there. Right, and that is it. That is basically your mod folder setup. Of course, you're going to need in your project folder, you will need to do some configs and stuff. But again, it depends what you're doing. Um, I've I've shown I've shown a video on how to texture clothes. Um, uh, I've got a video on how to do flag textures. Got to pro like got to upload, and I will be doing one for the more explosive. So I'll show you what you need to do in your project folder for stuff like that. Anyway, um, but anyway, that's it. Um, if you've got any issues, a link uh, to my Discord is on YouTube. Feel free to join it and come and speak to me. Um, apart from that, have fun, guys, and peace out. And I'll catch you next time.